Right. Yeah, here we are. Here we are. We're knackered now. We need a holiday. <laughs> we need a we need a break. So um, you alright, mate? Oh, he's choking now. God, there's something wrong with him, you know. So uh, right, yeah, I've got to uh, got a card. <laughs> oh, I've got to keep looking over there, and I keep forgetting about that. There's my pen. Hey, this is my feather pen. I've always wanted one of these, and I made this one myself. Uh, the feather itself came from um, the Gare, my favourite place, of course, for wild camping at the minute. Uh, the Gare in was it South Gare Breakwater? It's actually called in Red Car. So um, if you've never seen one of the, two of the videos that I did and a couple of visits, uh, put up there somewhere. Um, but yeah. Absolutely fantastic. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, i got to fill out a card because uh, I'll get it done because it's a birthday tomorrow. And, uh, and she's coming back today. So I want to make sure that uh, this is done and put away for now. So, yesterday, well, last night, after I had my delivery of chips away, which incidentally, Half of it's in the microwave. That was a waste, really. <laughs> um, yeah, because I was going to reheat it after a bit, and it's still there now. Uh, it was getting time. We're getting on. I weren't hungry again, really, because it was already getting time. We're getting on. So, yeah, yeah, it's still there. I suppose you don't believe me, do you? Let me show you actually, because you probably don't believe me. So. So, put things in the microwave if you think, you know, you're going to get back to them later. But look at this, what a waste. What a waste. What a waste, look at that lot. A little bit of fish and a ton of them chips. I'm going to chuck them in the bin in a minute. I've got to, which always it stinks, I'll keep them in there for now. Because <laughs> the bin's down there, the bin bag. <laughs> and I've got to take that up to the main bins up there. Up by the buildings up there, so... <laughs> in a bit for dog ears. Right. Got dog ears. <laughs> oh, so, um, oh yeah, as you might have seen, I've, I've stacked a few things to the side you can see from here, but stacked to all the wood there for now, but obviously I can't, uh, can't keep them there because when we're driving, <laughs> they're all going to fly off there, land on poor Charlie, so, uh, Oh, look at the view I've woke up to this morning. <sighs> nice, isn't it? Very nice. Um, there as well. Lovely, isn't it? Windows wide open. Yeah, it's nice. It's lovely. It's quite peaceful. You can hardly hear the traffic. There is a there is a road up there, but it's, it's not a really really busy road. Um, yeah, a few flies buzzing around, which gets him going. But um, fly screens, so no worries. Uh, till I open the door and they suddenly pop in. Well, that's a bit of a nightmare. Oh dear. What are you doing? So, what I've had sleep wise last night, eh? Six hours put into two parts because he got me up again in the night. He's having a bit of a bad time at the minute with um, his poos, so if anybody's got any ideas uh, why suddenly he's just having sloppy poos for the last good, good few days, let us know in the comments. But, um,. Mind you, by the time you see this, hopefully, hopefully he's gone back to normal. But uh, we'll see. Well, we'll probably end up at the vets if he don't uh, improve soon. And that's not, not going to be any fun going to the vets with Charlie, because he, he'll just attack every dog in sight, so that's a bit of a problem. <laughs> 
he's doing quite well really for his life. He's he's hardly been the vets at all, only when he was little. So he's been you know he's he's been lucky really, isn't he? Anyway, oh, so bad. Sure, you see my big gob in the morning. So I'm just having me a cup of tea. Oh, do you like me mug? <laughs> Oh, gotta be like that, ain't I? <laughs> Guess he bought me this, can't you? Yeah, Raven Girl. <laughs> oh, nice cup of tea. Bit of um, Yorkshire Yorkshire tea, of course. <clears throat> Yorkshire tea, mate. He says, "Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. Give me some." So, uh, the plan for today, right? <laughs> Uh, I spoke to Jan last night, and she's coming back. Uh, I think they've hit in uh, a town, a place called Tamworth, and then they've got to get off there and wait for a feeder coach to bring them back to Bedrock, <laughs> where I have to go over then to fetch her. Um, I could, I did say to her that. It ain't that far from here to Tamworth. I mean, I could have actually gone to Tamworth, picked her up to save all the messing about, but I think she wants to be with her sister all the way to the end, you know. So, might as well, uh, you yeah. So, she's going to contact me when she's heading towards Bedrock from, uh, from Tamworth, and then... Uh, I'll go over there, pick her up, and uh, we'll see his reaction. Uh, because I'll tell you what, look at him. He's, he's been in the right mood, he has. I, I mean, he was in a mood last time she went away, but this time, he's, I think he's even worse this time. I think as he's getting older, he just he's so settled in his life with me and her that anything different, he he, he don't like it. It's really, it really upsets him. I mean, I'm thinking that, I wonder if it's something to do with why he's having his runny poos. I don't think it is, because I think it, that comes from some chicken he had. I'm sure it is. And when I say chicken, I don't mean like it was gone off or anything. This was perfect, like just cooked. You know, there's no, no problem with it at all. We ate it, there's no it smell. It's not, not like that. I mean, he's not even in little pieces as well. Um, lean, you know. So, no, he seems to have this reaction to chicken and... A, I did say to Jan we shouldn't give them it because of last time. Mm. <laughs> so, uh, you know, it's like with dogs, though, isn't it? You know, you think, oh, look, they really want it. We better give them it, you know. Yeah. You ain't having any more. <laughs> That's the end of chicken for Charlie. Anyway, so the toilet. So I've got the the bottom floor bit, extra floor bit done on the bottom there. Uh, now I've got to build onto it. And around it, um, I, I, I'll tell you what, after I've had this cup of tea, I'm ready to go again, right before it gets too hot. But unfortunately, it's only about 8 o'clock in the morning, and I've got neighbours, and um, up there as well, so. And it's not fair, you can't, it's a campsite, you know what I mean? You can't start doing drilling and sawing and stuff on a campsite with people there, it's, it's just not fair. I, I wouldn't like it if, if I was in their shoes, I'd be thinking, of paid so much a night and I'm getting all this workmen carrying on next door you know so now I can totally totally understand that I wouldn't like it so but they might go out <laughs> if they go out I can at least do some work um, depends if, if both go out fantastic but the thing is I've got to go and fetch Janet uh, probably about 12 o'clock just gone so I don't know I don't think these went out until late morning yesterday because they went out the day before as well spent all day out and then at the top they disappeared off uh, we'll see we'll see um, if I can't then I'm going to have to wait until we come back with Janet oh, there's a daddy long legs in here I think he got him and opened the door Come on. 
You always get the one managing to get in. Right, okay. Right. Uh, yeah, I can get him out now if he stays there. No, no. Now he's decided he's staying. Right. Okay, right, I'll see you in a bit. So it wasn't actually 8 o'clock when I mentioned it. It was just a bit before 8 o'clock. It's just now 8.02. And can you hear something out here? Just thought I want to point it out. You know, you see over there or not? They decided to come on here and mow the grass. I don't know if it's me or not, but coming on with a sit-on lawnmower, going around the site, doing the grass at 8 o'clock in the morning. Hmm... I think that's a little bit too early, don't you? I don't know, maybe it's me. Creaking noises, it's the wind, and it's blowing against the. Uh, I've put the awning up outside, I've got the awning up outside to give us a bit of uh, shade because the sun's up that way, you know. Um, yeah, you can't really tell here, can you? I'll tell you what, it's funny how the light you can't see when the that's it. Can you see it? There's the awning, look. So, uh, yeah, so uh, just put it up for now. Until we get the call from Jan. It's now, uh, time's about half ten, just gone half ten. I'm expected to ring me about twelve, twelve ish, so, uh, yeah, so I'm not doing any more. And it's a bit annoying now because the reason why I ain't doing any more because the time's getting on and uh, I just wanted to tidy up and get everything sorted. Plus, I'm actually just thought I'd spend a bit of a moment sorting out the next, not the next video, but the next video. Uh, uploading it, I've got to sort that out, uh, it's on the iPad ready to upload, so I'm getting a bit in front now for change, and uh, your guaranteed videos, uh, yeah, yeah sh you should enjoy them, um, so, right, yeah, so, uh, it's going to be fucked up against this, <laughs> let me just show you what I've done here, look, I've just basically put everything to one side, piled up at the back, I've put that on a bit better so it don't fly off as I'm going along and back there um, you can just see one piece of that very long strip of wood that's the toughest bit of wood we've got uh, that's to, for the optional you know to keep the toilet seat up there you know when you're sitting on it it's uh, it's quite a long length that is I think it's about three meters in length and I haven't had a chance to cut that down yet and use it yet so I'm not rushing it because I, I can't afford to rush through it and then mess it up um, but yeah I've used a couple of, I've put a fit a couple of pieces this morning actually you can see it on the the bottom of there can you see that underneath the toilet there um, so there a couple of supports there's going to be more obviously uh, underneath um, that will be pushing up against them or they'll be pushing down on them should we say um, yeah, I ain't finished yet. I'm nowhere near finished yet. Well, this is just the beginning, really. But, 
but uh, that toilet seat was a bit of a problem for me to be honest because the fittings weren't correct were they really typically every time you have a toilet you ever notice that you buy a toilet seat you guarantee the fittings are gonna mess you up a bit you know oops can't get this right now yeah, so uh, I couldn't put the fittings on like I should put them on. So I've ended up having to drill two largish holes. Largish? <laughs> Can't speak this morning. Large holes. Um, the right width for the two big bolts that go through. Uh, so I've done that through the actual plastic itself. I had to be very careful about that and get that just right. Um, just so we can fit the lids and stuff on the seat top of the toilet seat uh, and into the through the wood um, well hardboard so I've had to do that so that was a bit of a pain because these fittings to fit these things underneath they were like supposed to be about that size and they were like that size and you couldn't do anything about it so I've just not used them and done my own my own uh, way around it so uh, yeah, so it works a treat, obviously. I have made uh, a little mistake, uh, but I'll sort that out later. It's not a problem. But other than that, everything's been going fine. So quite pleased, actually, at the minute. Just that uh, I've just got to wait for Jan now. I can't really keep carrying on doing this because I need to keep everything tidy for her, don't I? <laughs> I mean, she's going to come in and say, oh, my God, when she sees all this wood, you know. But uh, that's just, you know, if you want it doing, you got to have the stuff. So, uh, so yeah, so we're, we're pretty much ready to go and fetch it. I've got a little bit of washing up I've got to do. I'll put the hot water on for that, so I'll uh, do that in a second. I'm just going to sit down, I'm just going to sort out this upload if I can. Uh, sort that out, because for some reason, Luma Fusion is now not uploading directly to my YouTube channel, which it was all, all this time, and suddenly today, it's asking me to sign in and this, that, and the other. I don't know what's going on there. I'll, I'll figure it out. Something Google's probably done. So, uh, yeah, anyway, right, I'm going to uh, go, and uh, I think the next time you see us, in a moment, for you, It'll be in another couple of hours when we're on the way to go and fetch uh, Jan from Bedrock. So, uh, and you'll see his reaction again. He's he's happier already because he knows. I've told him he knows what I'm talking about. And, uh, Oops! Keep <laughs> chopping the phone nearly. So, your mum's coming back today, ain't she? Oh, look at that! His head goes straight up. Yeah, your mum's coming back today, ain't she, mate? Hey, eh? is she coming back today? <laughs> yeah, you wait till you see him later. You'll be going bananas. Right, okay. See you in a minute. Yeah, look at his smiling face. Can you see it? Look. It's because you know, don't you? It won't be long now. Yes, and you're going to go bonkers, ain't you? You are. You're going to go bonkers because your mum's coming. <laughs> look at that face. Oh, it's lovely, isn't it? Is that a nice face? Are you waiting for your mum? Are you? Are you waiting for your mum? <laughs> he ain't half mister. He ain't half mister. I don't know. I'm not good enough, am I? No, it's no good just your dad, is it? You want your mum as well, don't you? <laughs> yeah, it won't be long now. It's nearly two o'clock in the afternoon. Um, like I say, she spoke to me earlier and said that it'll be about two o'clock she hits Tamworth. So it ain't going to be too long now. I've took the awning down already before I get ahead of myself here. Um, took the cover off the front there. So it stops me doing a few more things when I want to get out of here. Uh, look at that tractor's going around now. I've, I, can you see the tractor over there? He's going around mowing all that grass down around the edge. And I've been out with Charlie, haven't I, already? I tried to knock it all out of the way to get through it all. Should have waited, shouldn't I? Oh, <laughs> look at him now, look. Take time yet, mate. Take time yet. Do you want to go out for a wee? <laughs> right, back in a mow. Okay, so... Uh, Jan's just rang. I'm about to go and fetch her. I thought what I'll do, I'll keep this wood in to show you what he's like. Look how happy he is now. <laughs> he ain't been this happy for ages. Look at his face. 
Is mum coming? Is she? Should we go and fetch her? Shall we? Should we go and fetch her? Yeah. Go and fetch her. Right, I'm going to unhook outside. Hey, hey, hey! Come here. Come here. Don't you go outside. <laughs> I'm going to go and unhook us. I'll leave him in here and you can see what he's like while I'm outside. Right, come here you. You stay there. You need to unhook us. Stay there. Boy. I better bring this in, not leave this here. It seems really disgusting bringing this into the, the actual motorhome part, you know. But uh, it's it's clean. Uh, hold on, mate. We've got to sort this out now so nothing falls over. Okay, okay. Hold on a second. Uh, shut the windows okay so i'm going to shut the windows and then uh catch us in a minute everything's all done we're ready to go i'll turn that off we're gonna go and fetch jan hey day five we're fetching your mum mate you can't see him at the minute but don't worry as soon as we pull up and she gets in i have the other camera on in my hand and i'll show you what he's like oh tearjerker tell you when was like last time uh, sorry about the noise, this is the air conditioner I'll put on full blast because it's absolutely boiling. So, uh, right, okay, let's go. I call you up in the middle of the night, been bothered by dreams, ain't feeling alright. You give me comfort, say just give it some time. By the end of our talk, I'm feeling just fine. You and I will always know where we belong. This ain't no ordinary love we got going on. I pick you up in my 59 Ford. We head on down the road until we get bored. Just you and me. Mate, it's round here. So I dropped her off. There she is. I can see her, mate. I can see her. I'll wait if ever you should be in doubt and 